we have a very um, aligned um, circle between the shareholding, the shareholding control, the board and the management team. And therefore, um, we should be able to take both effective and long-term decisions that are in the best interest of not only the financial investors in the company, but also the stakeholders around it. And, uh, and this time perspective that we have of five to 10 years of ownership, instead of any obligation to report, whether that's a planning horizon or not, but report quarterly or even annually to, um, to the public markets, again, as an asset class and an, as an ownership model should give us a, um, a good ability to drive significant um, stakeholder capitalist, uh, capitalism outcomes. If I look at the two highest priorities for me um, in the current environment, they would be one, inequality, and what is happening in the world where we have, in a town like London, we have 21% of people work in the hospitality and the restaurant sector. Um, a lot of businesses will have been permanently impaired or disappear as a consequence of what's happening with COVID. Um, and then, of course, we've seen massive emergencies, the emergence of income inequalities around the world. And the second is, of course, climate change, which was very much a focal point in the late 90s. And as we came into the early 2000s, Al Gore drove awareness and then the financial crisis came and that dropped down on the agendas of the boards and, um, and governments. And I think the same, what I fear is that the same thing happened with COVID, where a year ago, as we came out of Davos, it was high up on everyone's agenda and COVID then set all the compasses spinning and the priorities have shifted in the short term. We need to get back to solving the long term issues.